morning, it is day three. Mommy! Hi! Third day today, we had a new job style. We started the day bright and early and hit the road for what we expected to be an excursion day. We are heading towards La Brisas, which offers a lot of water sport activities to do, including renting a pontoon. As you can see, today was quite a gloomy and cloudy day, but that didn't stop us from having fun. On the way there, we passed by a bunch of villas, but don't let that distract you from the little teeny sign that tells you where La Brisas is, because that's what happened to us. We accidentally drove past it like two times. Here are the various water sports that La Brisas offers for rent. And now, let's watch the moms drive the right-handed cars for the first time. Moms are trying to drive. Drive it all. Look at Glenn doing it too. Wrong one. No, wrong side of the road. Yeah, you're on the right, we'll be on the left. The dads come back and like, where did all the cars go? Las Brisas is a restaurant with immaculate views of the beautiful turquoise water out in the distance. But one downside is that it's super duper windy here. Here's what the wind sounds like. As you can see, it was a really windy day that day. So the owner of Las Brisas, who also provides the rental services, said that it wouldn't be an ideal day for us to go on an excursion using the pontoon. So we decided to just explore this restaurant, take some pictures, and then come back tomorrow to have our excursion. So for today, instead of an excursion, we'll just be visiting the beaches around these areas. The first beach we'll be visiting is Sabodia Bay Beach. Sapodia Bay Beach is a very calm and quiet beach, ideal for relaxing. Unfortunately, when we got there, it started raining a lot, so we just decided to take a quick stop at this beach before heading to another one. In the time that we were there, Chaman managed to befriend a very friendly stray dog. left Sapodia Bay Beach, we made a quick stop at Sunny Spoos, which is basically the equivalent of Costco. Oh, this is a nice tripod. Bruh. Our next stop is Turtle Beach, which we almost couldn't find because the sign is literally so small and it was hidden behind the bushes. We realized that's quite common here where the beaches are very hard to find. Even with Google Maps, you can hardly find the entrance to the beach. Turtle Beach is also a very quiet and calm beach. I recommend bringing water shoes because there are some rocks here, but you can definitely snorkel and see a bunch of fishes here.
Why is she just smiling? <laughs> Woo! Nike is looking for those stuff. Golf? There is. Nike! We found car shells! What do you do? We cannot hear you. Don't hit yourself on the wall. Yeah. It is night time. We have gathered up to walk to the shopping district we passed by on day one. During our walk, we stumbled upon the infamous Seven Star Resort. Tell us where we're going. To the town. <laughs> we're going to a shopping center. Unfortunately, to our disappointment, when we got to the shopping center, everything was closed. Mind you, it was only 6 p.m. at this time, so not too late, but we were shocked that everything was closed so early. A genius! Why is it all closed? After wandering around for some time, we stumbled upon a gift shop that was just about to close. Already? Hello! We should all put on sunglasses. For a t-shirt? A t-shirt. Oh. Now we're going to a frozen yogurt place called Turkberry, which was surprisingly the only thing that was open at 7 p.m. in this entire shopping center. And our last stop for tonight is Grace Way Supermarket. She's proposing to you. Your pretty princess. Mwah. On the way home, the dads found a coconut in a tree and they're contemplated climbing up and getting it. I'll throw it. And to end the night, we hung out in the main lobby. Don't blame me. Day 4 We wasted no time today and hit the road early to go back to Las Brisas for our excursion. The weather looked absolutely beautiful today with clear skies and the sun shining down on Chalk Sound. As you can see, the water is a lot brighter than how it was yesterday and it made the place look even more beautiful. So here is Las Brisas with the sun shining bright. Today was windier than it was yesterday, as you can tell from our hair. It was so windy that day that my mom's hat flew off from the second floor and I had to retrieve it from the bushes. After talking with the owner for a bit, it's time to begin our excursion. The pontoon rental service includes a tour guide and a captain to show us around Chalk Sound. They'll be bringing us to three different locations. The first stop is a 50 feet deep hole in the ocean. Second stop is to a plane wreck. And a third stop is to Iguana Island. As our tour guide said, our first stop is the blue hole. Currently, our boat is on top of a 50 feet deep hole in the ocean. Oh, 
on. Our captain was throwing in some food to attract these fishes. I'm not sure if they're barracudas, but they were very aggressive and it was very cool to see. After taking some pictures, we're off to our next stop, the plane wreck. According to our tour guide, this plane crashed a couple years ago, and authorities removed everything except for the wing. So the wing is what we're visiting. Now it's time to snorkel. Just a heads up, the sand here does not feel like sand. It feels like mushy bread. So here's our reaction.
we're at our last stop, Iguana Island. The captain pulled us up close to the island so that we can get off and get close to the iguanas. As we got closer and closer to the island, all the iguanas started running out of their hiding places, curious to see who's visiting them. Ew! There's so many! Look at them! They're like, hey guys. Jump down. The captain gave us some bread to feed the iguanas. They're coming for you, like me. Ew! That is disgusting. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dang, that's a bad one. Look at that one. <laughs> Fat one, fat one! Oh! Here, yo, fat one! It's for you! Okay, okay, they look funny. <laughs> <laughs> I just read them, Kelly. Run alone! Alright, I got the snake. It is a lot. That's a big one. our little boat tour around Chalk Sound. This excursion wasn't exactly what we were expecting because we were hoping that we'd be more on the snorkeling side and seeing a lot of coral, but overall, it still was a wonderful experience to have and to be able to see all these beautiful scenic sights. Off the boat ride. Our last beach stop for today is Taylor Beach. Taylor Beach is extremely shallow. Because of that, we have to go very, very far away from shore for the water to at least be higher than our knees. And then we found a starfish. <laughs> Is it moving? Uh, no, it won't. It won't. Put it on your palm. Eating at Turk's Kebab for dinner. Right behind Turk's Kebab is a giant beach chair, which is a great photo opportunity.
feel free to pause if you want to take a look at the menu. To end the night, we hung out on the beach. And that concludes part 2 of the Turks and Caicos vlog. Please be on the lookout for part 3 where we move to the new massive hotel and have the night of our lives at the conch shack.